do with this stuff? The clutter gives me a bit of a feeling of stress and disorganization. When I walk into my house, even though so many things have so much meaning for me, it's visually disturbing. It was very difficult to say goodbye to my father. He was in hospice for two weeks, and I spent almost every moment with him. The most difficult thing about having these boxes and knowing that it's all that's left of who my father was is also knowing that all of these things can't stay. It's just too much. By giving those items away, am I going to lose those memories? Carrie, hi, Peter Walsh. Hey what a pleasure. I see boxes. Let's yes. check this out. Tell me what I'm looking at. These are boxes that came up from my father's apartment when I sold that okay. in Florida. How long ago was that? I'm not telling you. Yes, you are. How long ago? Um, four years. You at the moment stand out so strongly as what I call a sentimental clutterer. Empty nesters and people who see themselves very much as kind of family historians. Does that ring a bell with you? Absolutely. Today, we're going to go through these boxes and really separate the stuff that is really important. Pull out what I call the treasures and display those with honor and respect. Let's do a quick three minute run on one box. We'll start okay. now. Okay, this? Oh, yes, keep it. Okay. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> Go, good. So, in three minutes, we've done one box. How are you feeling? Done with the box. Hey, good? It's awesome. This it's one's broken. Nice. Oh my gosh, my father would be so sad. This is not your dad. Say it. This is not my dad. Yeah. Get your cell phone out and grab a photo. So you're never going to lose the memory of this. What is this? This was my dad. He was paralyzed. And the only way he can get in or out of his wheelchair was to slide to the other, um, to where he wanted to sit. I don't think I'm ready to let that go. This is not your dad. I, I understand and I have given up quite a bit okay. today and I think I need to hold on to that. So hold on to this. Carrie, this is not easy, but this is wonderful. So here, here, is, <laughs> here is your family history wall. This is what you're keeping, important treasures and every other thing that was in here Donated. Now that it's complete, I really think I understand more about myself and about why I keep things and about how easy it can be to let them go once you understand why you're hanging on to them to start with. A girl after my own heart. I'm the same way. You know, I, I I love my mom so much and all of her words and notes. I think I have every card for like, I don't know, 35 years. So I get it. The process is tough, but it was so beautiful to see you sort of make that arc. Exactly. I mean, Peter was immensely helpful. Absolutely. It made a huge difference. It's because it's all about surrounding yourself with happy things. Things that bring that make I say make your heart sing and display them with honor and respect in your home. So that family history wall, each little thing, a silly thing like and you scale, can see them yeah, now. that's yes, it, yeah. tells a story. And I think even looking at you now, Carrie, the whole difference in demeanor was so, so lovely. And I want to show, I've got something special for you. Okay. Carrie had a range of onesies from the kids when they were small, let a lot go, but kept a couple. Here's one thing you can do. I took one of the onesies and I made a cover for a little photo album for you. And in this are memory photos of items that you oh, that's were happy to let go of. So yeah. again, repurpose things. Thank and that's you. for you. Yeah.